Awesome, JD. So I'm just super fired up to get you going, man, and, and really show you just how simple this is to, to really take your business to the next level on social media. And and just to give you a little a little context, just like what you said, right? Be, being a beginner and 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 not knowing too much about this whole social media thing. That's actually my sweet spot. Like that's my niche. My niche seven years ago was 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 finding the realtor who is beginning, right? Where 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 you might be putting out video, you might be putting out Instagram posts, and you're and you may be trying to build your business online, but still you're a beginner, right? Not you specifically, but just in general. Like that was my market. I'm like, man, I want to help people that that are not advanced. My my niche market is not the people that know it all. My niche is the beginner. Like that's what I teach. And that's what I've been teaching since 2016. I And that's when I started my YouTube channel, 2017. So I documented all this. So everything that I'm telling you, bro, I've been documenting it, documenting it on YouTube for the past, for the past six, seven years. Um, and, and, and again, approaching the beginner because it, because where all this started, and I'm going to just give you some context of where I'm even coming from, just so you know how, that this all makes sense, right? My my whole background was my whole background is is marketing, but also mortgages, real estate. So in 2010, here in San Diego, I've been in San Diego forever, my whole life, California, San Diego here specifically. But in 2010 is when I got into mortgages. So I was a mortgage lender. I did refinances, purchases. I did all that 2010 to 2016. And and still to this day, my best friend still owns the mortgage company. He does very, very well. Even when when the market's down, that guy's still making money. Like, shout out to my boy Mady. Um, he's Persian. And and so he still today owns that mortgage company. But my run with him was six years, 2010 to about 2016. And after that, I just didn't want to do mortgages anymore. I was licensed for the state of California, licensed for the state of Washington, and we crushed a bunch of refis and purchases. But but during that period, I didn't need social media because our marketing strategy back then, and I think he still, I think he still has the same marketing um, um, strategy, where our whole concept of marketing was buying leads. So I didn't need social media back then. Like, in fact, in 2010, I didn't even know much about social media marketing at all. I had Facebook and I think that was about it um, because all we did is we crushed the phone. So I'm a phone guy. I'd hit the phone, bro. Like he'd have leads and I would just, bro, we had a call center. In fact, he still has it to this day. I'm pretty sure. But but back then we had a call center of, of 20 LOs. And we're just crushing the phone, bro. And I, I would crush the phone for eight hours a day, call homeowners, and I'd refinance them. Right. And then at that time, also, I, I started I started networking with realtors, right? Realtors will come to our office and they would, you know, obviously need need clients for purchasing. So I started I started talking and networking and working with a lot of realtors. And so, again, this was 2010 to 2016. And also at that time, I started to quickly realize that most real estate agents, it's at least the ones that I was working with there in the office here in San Diego, they'd come you know, to our office I just knew because I had a marketing background. So before 2010, I even I, I won't take you back that far, but my whole marketing, internet marketing started in 2000. So in 2000, in the year 2000, 2001, that's when the internet was really starting to take off. Social media wasn't even a thing at that time, but the internet was barely starting to take off in, in 1999, 2000, 2001. And so I got glued to the internet at that time, but it wasn't until 2010 when I got into mortgages and then I started networking with other realtors and I and I quickly realized that most of them didn't know about marketing. Most of them were still just relying on word of mouth, even probably you, right? Word of mouth, getting referrals, right? That Even still to this day, that's most realtors marketing strategy, just re referrals and word of mouth. It can get you through a little bit, but if you want to get it all, you can't just deny and sphere and just, you know, more the fuck. We know social media, internet is the goal these days. Everybody right. use it. Yeah, bro. And so, so, so fast forward, I knew that, that, that realtors, I just knew this as an LO, right? So in mm -hmm. 2016, when my mortgage days were done and I'm, and I told my friend, Hey man, I'm going to go my own route. I don't know what I'm going to do. Blah, blah, blah. In 2017, that's when I kind of had an epiphany. That's when the light bulb went on. And I'm like, why don't I start helping real estate agents with all this social media stuff? This was 2016, 2017. You already I, have all that idea in your head. So like, I, you know I, exactly I, what they needed. Yes, I had the marketing, but I didn't exactly have the social media marketing. I didn't really know that just yet. 
So in 2016, 2017, 2018, that's when I dove in and started getting coaches for social media. And I'm like, man, so I started buying courses on how to run Facebook ads, buying courses on how to how to do social media marketing. And I'm like, man, I'm going to start teaching this to real estate agents. And this was 2017, 2018. And, I, and, and the reason why I chose real estate agents is because I came from mortgages and I knew that I can relate to them. I knew their pain point. I knew that, 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 that they didn't know much about this whole social media thing. I knew most of them needed to know about it. And so in 2017, bro, long story short, that's when I started my YouTube channel. And all I started doing was just, was just, was just teaching the basics of social media marketing. And then, and then as I grew in my knowledge and in 2018, 2019, 2020, by the time 2020 hit, that's when I had, I don't want to say mastered Facebook ads, because I mean, I, I don't think we master anything just yet. I, I think we're always practicing, right? You're practicing real estate. Even an attorney is practicing law, right? So you're, we're always practicing to get better. But, but it was in 2020 when I hired a very expensive coach and he taught me Facebook ads. And and so since then I've been I've been I've been learning it. But but even over here, how how I started getting clients, here here's what I don't know if I told you this in the past, but in 2017, when I realized that I wanted to start helping real estate agents, what I started doing on my personal Facebook page is I removed all of my real friends. So when you go to your personal profile, bro, yes, you and I are friends on Facebook, but let's keep it real. When I requested you. You accepted it just to accept it. You didn't know me. You didn't even know where I lived. You didn't know my background. And I truly believe social media is that way. When you start growing your social media accounts, accounts, whether it's TikTok, whether it's Instagram, whether it's Facebook, we start, because we're in business, we start accepting all of these random ass people. Because, we, because we, we want to spread the word. Because we want to spread the word, Right. So what I did is I started requesting all these real estate agents, all these real estate agents. I strategically did it, but here's what I did. When you look at your Facebook friend list today, your personal Facebook page, not the business page. When you look at your personal Facebook, personal profile today, 99% of the friends you have, whether it's 500 friends. Yeah, let's go to your friend list real quick. Whether it's 500 friends, 3,000 friends. Here's what I tell every single real estate agent. Here's what I tell everyone, whether you're agent or not. Here's what I tell everyone. 99% of the 3,100 people are people like me who live across the country that you don't even know. 99%, they don't, bro. They don't do me any favor. The 3,000 friends are people like me. Maybe the 100, even if you're popular. Bro, I've been in San Diego my whole life. I was popular in school. I played sports. I went to different schools. I was in business, mortgages. Bro, I know so many people in San Diego. But back then, when you look at my Facebook personal profile, it was only about 100 people that were my friends and family. All of these other friends on Facebook, bro, I don't even know them. So, so my point is, my point is, is that in 2017-ish, I removed about 100, maybe 200 friends and family. Because the reason why I'm telling you this is to get you to where we're at today and, and my strategy and what I'm going to teach you and what I realized with agents. When I started, when I, when, I, when, I, when I wanted to go help agents, I said, okay, my personal profile, here's what I'm going to do. And this is what I'm telling myself. I'm going to remove my friends, my mom, my brother, my cousins, my aunts, all of these personal friends that I have on my personal profile because my strategy was to request 5,000 agents. That's what I did in 2017, right? That's what I did in 2017. So as we're moving fast forward, 2018, 2019, 2020, I'm requesting thousands of agents and they're just like you with 3,000 friends, 4,000 friends. And I'm like, if this is an agent, I'm willing to bet that they're that the majority of their business are people that live in their area. But they have 3,000 friends. These are not, they, they can't possibly all live in their area. True, true. Right? So I'm like, dude, I'm going to start teaching these people how to start taking these videos that they're already putting out. The listing, the open house, videos of them talking about their business, a buyer guide, giving away a seller guide. 
And I want to show them how to actually target people who live in their area. Because as JD posts his business-related stuff to 3,100 friends, it's only about 100 of them that care. If that, that's his mom, that's his wife, his friends from the office. And the 100 friends, they already know he's in business, right? So the other 3,000, it does us no good. So it's as enough. I'm starting to see this, bro, as I'm starting to see this 2020, 2021, I'm like, holy crap. We got thousands of people that are following us on social media, but every time we post, it's irrelevant to most of them. And so that's when I just realized the importance of, man, we have to start taking this content and target our local area where majority of our business is at. And that's why when it comes to real estate, the majority of, of, of their business is in the backyard, right? You're farming a few zip codes. You're not even, you don't even care about the whole state. You're worried about your backyard. True. Right? 30, buyers, 40 miles, that's it. right, exactly, bro. That's your business. So how do we take this video content and target that area? And that's when I quickly again realized it has to happen on social media. It has to happen with an ad. And 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 out of all these platforms, you got you got TikTok, you got YouTube, you got Twitter, you got all these damn platforms. But when it comes to real estate, the your your exact your avatar, the person that you're 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 likely to help. They're here on Facebook. They're mm -hmm. on Instagram. They're on Instagram. Yes. Those right? are the most the most famous two that everybody spent the day on. That's it, bro. And so that's when I went all in and started just teaching the Facebook side, the Instagram side. And 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 that's where where, where I'm at today, where I just knew and I just know that the majority of, of real estate agents, their dream client is in their backyard. And, and, and are people re relocating? Of course, especially in the last four years with this whole COVID crap. Yes, people moved. Yes, new people are coming into the state. Yes, people are relocating. But your dream client is down the street. Why and to so, go far if you have somebody here? Exactly, bro. Like, why worry about someone moving from Michigan to your area when really maybe that might not even happen? Why wait for that message? Why wait for why wait on a message from David? To hit you up, JD, and say, "Hey, JD, I'm gonna be moving to your area." It's like, dude, okay, out of the 300, out of 3,100 friends, bro, that might happen maybe once. Like, uh, you're looking for a needle in the hay, bro. So we can't scale our business like that. We can't depend on yes. business that way. I gotta speak to the people, and that's why when I see real estate agents, you guys already put out the most amazing content. You guys are already putting out the video. You're already writing the best description on your open house. Go ahead. We're not delivering it to the right people. We're just not delivering it to the right people at all, bro. You said it perfect. So today, today, and, and you don't have to run an ad today. I'm going to just show you the whole No, we'll do it. No, no, we'll do it. I'm ready. I'm prepared. We'll, we'll just, oh. yeah, we'll just run, run. No. Yeah, we can run anything. And I, but And I know it's been a while we didn't talk. Like, give me, today is the 9th. At the 31st. We signed it together because I've been postponing it, but I told her I was just going tight in money. But God bless me. I have a couple of these. We need to jump in this. In the last two months, I'm thinking about you every day because bro. I believe 100% about what we talked in the last Zoom call. You're amazing, bro. But 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 God bless you, too. And don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. I I, I Don't worry about any of that. I want to teach you. I'm going to just shoot. There, there's a whole – the reason why I have a coaching program is because I take people through five basic steps. So today I'm going to I'm going to kind of just teach you one step and and I I truly believe I mean all the five steps are important but with this one step that I'm going to teach you today is to simply how to set up a Facebook ad how to simply take this video and target my backyard like like that 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 I truly believe is 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 not the most important because there's 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 a web page a funnel there's capturing emails capturing leads what I teach people is how to how to create a buyer guide how to create a seller guide and how to get people to click and and opt into your lead right so there's many more important factors to it but knowing how to take this damn video and at least target my backyard to let people down the street see my damn face that's important bro that's important. So, so watch. Go to your go to your business page. Go to your business page, and really, the first video that I have someone set out that I that I have someone set up, and then and then we send it out with an ad. Normally, the first video that I teach, which which I don't think you have right now because you probably haven't even thought about this, but the mm -hmm. the the first video that I have someone do, and you could do this later on, is is what I call an intro video. An intro video is where you just simply pull out your phone and introduce yourself. And, th mm -hmm. and this is not a pitch. It's not a short video. It's not a reel. It's not a 30 second. It's, it's damn near freaking as long as you want to make it. Two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes. I have an intro video on my YouTube channel that's damn near 35 minutes. 
because I'm talking my ass off. I'm taking people back 25 years and telling them who the hell I am and where this all started, which is kind of what I told you. My marketing started in 2000. I get into mortgages in 2010, but YouTube, I, I, I so, so, but I'm not saying you got to go on for half an hour at all. Most of my real estate clients, they'll just do an intro video and it could be three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, because in an so intro then, video, go ahead. So then where I came from, what I do, what's my expertise, what's my goal, how I'm able to help them. Just introduce or tell them about how I am, how I'm going to like, you know, be something or somebody helpful for you. Bro, you couldn't have said it better. That's an Perfect. intro video. That's an intro video. Perfect. So the whole objective with that is to simply run it as a Facebook ad, target my local area. And here's why, bro. Here is why. And I'm going to show you how to set it up today. Here is why running the video as an ad and actually posting that video on the business page because the video has to be on the business page in order to run an ad. We can't run, no one can run an ad of a video on their personal profile. Yep. And that's where a lot of people will put their video. They'll just simply share it with their friends. They got 3,100 friends. They post a video about their open house on their personal profile. It's like, dude, you're missing so much when you do that. And here's, here's the so much, here's what it is. The reason why it's so important to post it on the business page and to run it as an ad, because as I target my local area, I could track those who watch it. Have you ever this been way. online, JD? Have you ever been online, a website, or maybe you watched a video on social media? It happens with these two things. You're either on a website or you watched a video on social media. Have you ever, I'm going to ask you the question. Have you ever been on a website or watched a video on social media? And then, here's the question. And then, 30 minutes later, an hour later, maybe the next day, you see a video or an ad from that person again. It happens every day, Bro, all day. It's because you were number one either on their website and they tracked you with Facebook, or you watched one of their videos on their social media Facebook ad. That's why. That's why. So being able to track these people who watched it and retarget them and show them your next video, bro, that's that's the most powerful thing in marketing. So so as I'm as I'm putting out an intro video, and let's say my intro video is five minutes, and we track everyone who watched it for at least one minute. These are people in your backyard, bro. So if I could track, let's say we get 10,000 people down the street to watch this video. But let's say 3,000 of them watched it for at least one minute. That Those 3,000 people go into what Facebook calls, and I'm going to help you set that up today. It's what Facebook calls a custom audience. Mm -hmm. So now I have 3,000 people in this bucket. I have 3,000 people in this custom audience that what I'm going to do, the next time I run an ad, I'm targeting them. I'm going to still target my city. I'm going to always target my city, but I'm also now going to retarget them. So if I saw your intro video and I live down the street and I saw that intro video two weeks ago, boom, I'm going to see video number two. So now then, you're becoming familiar. Bro, like no other. I see. That's the power see. with video. That's the power with video. The power with video, there's magic in video, bro. Magic when it comes to social media video there is magic in video because of the psychology of it when we watch a video whether it's 10 seconds whether i sit here and i watch it for 15 seconds whether i sit here and watch it for 30 seconds it doesn't take even a minute it does not take long at all it takes maybe 15 seconds when we sit here and watch a video of somebody for at least 15 seconds it's beyond likely that when we see them again, we're going to recognize them. Because you become familiar. Like you become they, see familiar. You, they saw you before. Exactly. They saw you before. So now they're seeing me a second time. When they see the, when the, when I roll out that second video and I do the same thing, I tracked everyone who watched the first video. I track everyone who watched the second video. Now I'm running my third video and I now retarget. I'm going to continue to target my city, but now I'm retargeting everyone who watched video number one, everyone who watched video number two. Now they're all seeing video number three. Now they see you again. And here's the, sec here's the secret strategy on the marketing side as well, bro. Here's the biggest advice I'm going to give you. Because as I see real estate agents post video content on their business, 
99.9% of the time, they're talking about everything. One day they might be talking about interest rates. The next day they might talk about their open house. The next day they might talk about it, about VA loan programs. Another day they might be talking about short selling someone's property. We and they're the educating. The, the, what's that? You said we need a mojo. We need to focus on one bro, thing that we focus at. Bro, you focus on one thing. That's it. Now, now bro. offline, JD can help you with everything. JD, dude, he has every tool in his tool belt. He'll help you for, with foreclosure. He'll help you short sell. He'll help you buy. He'll help you sell. Shit, you already homeowner and you need to refinance. He'll send you a lender. JD can do it all. But your marketing on social media needs to talk to one person. And I find it. And I remember last time we didn't know what was it, but today I'm only helping you sell in your home. That's it. That's it, bro. That's it. So now as I put out video content, I'm only talking about that. Perfect. Now, as I take you further through my coaching later on, that's when I help you put together a seller guide. That's when I help you put together a sales funnel. And that's when we start capturing leads of people that want to want to sell because now they're interested in, in your in downloading your seller guide. And then we get them to schedule an appointment on the back end of your website. That's all my coaching program for later on. But yes, that's what I teach. I'm like, no, dude, we're not going to do it all. We're not going to talk to everyone. We are looking to speak to one person. As I told you in the beginning, my one person that I love helping the most is the real estate agent. I'm not love out it. there helping dentists and chiropractors and freaking dry cleaner owners. Can I help them with their marketing? Hell yeah. Because what I teach you, I could teach any small business. But that's not my energy. I, you got, I got to focus in on one person. Right. I got to master what it takes to help the real estate agent. And that's it. Right. So the same thing applies that. to you. You need to master what it takes to sell someone's house. And we want to master the marketing side of attracting that person and that person only. And as other people come to you, yes, you can help them with everything else for sure. But the marketing, the strategic social media marketing, yes, needs to speak to one person. Right. So, 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 so. That, yeah, that that's that's the biggest golden nugget that I wanted to share with you is, is, is we'll start to speak to one person. Um, and then as we start to get people to watch our videos, we put them in a, in a custom audience, which I call a bucket, a bucket of people. We're just filling up this bucket of people who watched my video. And then I'm going to show them more ads, show them more ads. And before you know it, bro, yes, you become very, very familiar. I have clients, bro. And then, and then I'll end it with this and then we'll get into the tech side. I have clients that tell me all the time. And this, these are clients that have been running videos for, you know, a couple months, three months, four months. So so now they have thousands of people down the street that start to see them. I have clients, bro, that hit me up and say, David, I went to the grocery store and, 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 and this one guy freaking recognized me. I'm like, yeah, bro, that's what starts to happen. Like as you put these videos in front of your local market, yes, dude, people are going to start to recognize you out in the public. And that's powerful, man. That's powerful, right? So here's what we're going to do first, bro. There's really... There's really a very, very important step that I want to take you through first, and that's that's setting up the business manager side of it all. 100% of the time, bro, I've been doing this for years. I've spoken to thousands of people. If you go to my business page under reviews, I have like over 100 reviews. Like I've been doing this for a long time for the real estate agent, right? And so after, from all these damn calls that I've been on, there hasn't been one person that it has that has had their Facebook business manager set up the right way. And the Facebook business manager is where you do all this crap from, where you run the ad, where you set up these custom audiences, where you have your Facebook pixel that goes on your website so you could start tracking. It's the Facebook business manager that 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 10 out of 10 times is never set up at all, or it's just not set up the right way. So that's what we're going to do real quick. We're going to set that. We're not going to set up the entire thing just yet, but we're going to put it in place where we can at least track an ad, where we can at least set up the ad site, site the ad side successfully. So here's what I want you to do. Let's sure. log out of your business uh, admin site. So just hit your profile picture. Go back into your personal profile. And then from there, we're going to go to the news feed. Okay, perfect. So when you're when you're managing the back end, the business manager, it's 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 best to be in the personal profile. Um, the only time we want to be, actually, you know what? I'm sorry, bro. Go back to the business manager because the reason why I even had you, or go back to your business page. The only reason why I even had you go there, yeah, let's just go there real quick, is is because I wanted to see the videos because I wanted I want let, to let's look at a quick video that we can at least at least set up. What All videos right. do you have over here? Do you have any videos at all yet? 
because that's the video that I'm gonna have you work on over the next week or whatever. You know, get an intro video done. Get an intro video done, and and that's really the first video the ad that I have someone run is an intro video. Um, but yeah, but click on be... click on more right there in the middle more and just go to your videos. Let's see what you got over here. What do you what do you even have over here? Because I know you do a lot of shorts, right? You do a lot of reels. You do a yeah. You do a lot of shorter shorts, ones. Yes, yes. This this was well fun. If you want to watch it. Yeah, bro. Let's run this one. Let's run this one. Perfect. Let's run this one. So, okay. so go ahead. And the only thing it says something Friday or Sunday. Let's change that. Let's change that real quick. So go back. Go back. Go back to it. Click on it. It and... says. It says Happy Friday. We can cut it. No, we're gonna. Oh, the video does it say? Oh, it doesn't even matter. In the video, it doesn't matter. But go ahead and open it up. Expand it. Yes, brother. I'm sorry, when I was playing the video, I couldn't hear what you said. Yeah, go ahead and just expand the video. Open up the video. Just maybe double click it, see if it... Yeah, perfect. Okay, so here's all we want to do. And this is very, very important. You could pause the video. Here's what's very, very important. Is the text... You always want to make sure that the text, right? What we wrote, the caption. You were thinking about buying a house. You don't... We always want to make sure that that's, that's ready to go before we actually set up the ad. Because once we set up the ad, we can no longer edit the text. So so if in the text, if it said Friday, or if it, if it was date sensitive, you know, if it said September 1st, then we'll change little things like that now. Because once okay. we set it up as an ad, yeah, you can't change it anymore. Um, but if it says anything, the video another... doesn't yeah. even matter. Or we can cut it. I can cut it. Because I still have the original video. Oh, instead of saying happy Friday in the end, we can just cut it. Click on see more. Click on see more right there. Let, let me just read the text real quick. So you're thinking about you're thinking about buying a house. You don't know where to start. Reach out to me and ask me. Okay, for okay, provide okay, say Andrew. But also this is this is against my mojo because this is buy inside, not selling side. But if you want to just try it for an ad, we can. Or if you want me to maybe find another video we have, maybe you could use. What do you think? Whatever you want, bro. Whatever you want. Whatever. I'm cool. At least or I know like maybe like not the perfect video, but at least just something to start with. Yeah, just something to start with, exactly. And so, fair, fair um, enough. And and here's the thing too, bro. Here's the thing too. This is where I always call out, you know, call out my client in a, in a respectful way. I I always call them out when when it comes to the views, because I'll have a client that says, "David, I get a lot of engagement. I got a thousand views on this video, right? That's what I hear from most of my clients. David, I got two thousand views on this video. But then I number one, I ask them. Number one, did you track those who viewed it? Are they in your custom audience are you able to show them your next video ad 10 out of 10 times it's no I see. Ten times that 10 out of 10 times is hell no because they don't know how to do that right so 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 number one are we are we able to track those who watched it in the past the answer is always no and then and then and then in the number two i asked them out of the 1000 views how many do you think are local not right much. not much mm -hmm. So it's cool that we get a couple thousand views on the video. Yeah, okay, cool. It looks cool. You got a thousand views. Okay, it looks cool. But none of those people are in your damn area. They're people like me who are part of your 3,000 friend list who live across the country and are not moving anytime soon. Right? So it's like shit, man. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 views on my reel. Okay, looks good. But I can't leverage that. It's not going to bring me any business. Yeah. At least not right now. At least not right now. Right. So, so, so quick. Yes, bro. So if that was, if those were 1000 views of people who live down the street, that's powerful. That's powerful. Yep. That's powerful. And that's why the ad is so important. And when it comes to these video ads, especially the one that we're going to run today, bro, dude, it doesn't take, I'm going to show you one. Actually, you know what? Go to my go to yeah. So we're done with this one. So actually, you know, what? It, do you want to run that one, or is there a different one you want to run? Because we can run any uh, of them. I don't. I don't have any other. Uh, yeah, let's this, do that uh, one. Let's do that one. Let's That's do this totally one. Fine. Okay. That's totally fine. But here's what I want you to do, too, real quick. Hmm? Click on it. Let's go back into the into the text. Click on it. Open it up. What I want you to do is just at least clean up the text. And here's what I mean by cleaning it up. Click on the three dots in the top right. Edit. Let's go to edit. Actually, you got to you got to log into the business side of. I think you're in the personal profile. You're in your personal. So hit the oh, profile okay, okay. picture. Yeah, let's go back to your JD. All right. oh, Actually, the personal. Which one's, which I'm, one's your I'm right now in the business. This is the business. Are you the top? Yeah. I wonder why you can't. 
I wonder why you can't. Uh, yeah, maybe or... because usually what posts in the business page in Facebook is what I post in Instagram. It's so weird that my personal oh. Facebook page, when I post it, it goes to Instagram. Then when I post That's... something from Instagram, it comes into my Facebook uh, business page. That's what it is. Okay, so you so you must have posted this on, on – maybe you posted this on an Instagram? Yes. And then you had it come to the Facebook business page, right? Yeah. Yeah, yes, so that's why you're not it's a weird edit. connection. <laughs> that's why. Like, what I can do is I can post some the same video maybe if you want. I can post it straight yes. from this uh, page. Perfect. And like, you can just I'm gonna do it from text. my phone. Yeah, okay. copy the same text and and just and just put up a new one. Put up a new one um, here on the here on the business page. And and here's a little a little tweak as well. Like when it comes to like the text, when it comes to even the the video, what to even say in the video. A lot of the times, like we're just straight to the point, looking to buy a house, looking to sell your house, right? It's just a direct question. I just truly believe on on a consumer side, on the consumer side of it all, I just truly believe a a, a tweak in the in the wording is is maybe saying wording it in a way where do you have any questions? Have any questions regarding buying a house? Have any questions regarding selling your house? Like that's that's a that's a little non-aggressive than uh -huh. just saying, "Hey, looking to sell your house." Wait a minute, dude! I don't even know you yet. What do you mean? Like, I see. Rather than so coming see, like kind of indirect, okay. coming in, go coming indirect and coming more non-aggressive, where it's like, "Hey, guys, just want to know if you have any questions. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out." Right, that type of approach rather than just saying, "Hey, you want to buy a house." Have any questions regarding buying a house? Are you confused with the current market? Are you up and down regarding not knowing which way to go? Hey, if you just have any questions at all, I'd love to talk to you. Right? So starting Perfect. with that, and it doesn't have to be with this specific video, but just in general, gotcha. like moving forward, right? Just starting with, with, with trying to bring value first. Like, let me just answer some questions. Like, I'd love to jump on a call just to answer your questions, right? That's a little different uh, approach. So more more service and more than just like, you know, bro, more service and value. Just like, do you follow Gary V at all? Do you know of Gary V? No. Okay. Gary v, he's just a huge marketer that, that, that kind of started all this. He started teaching people social media marketing probably a good, a good 10 years ago. And, and he's, he's in, in the, in the social media marketing, internet marketing space. He's one of the G's. He's one of the OGs, bro. And and to nice. this day, he has millions of followers, and he's very very successful. But 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 that's where I got it from. Where he would teach, you got to give 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 before you ask. So right 100%. here, I'm, right here, I'm asking right away. Looking to buy a house, looking to looking to sell your house. I'm asking before I before I'm even giving you anything. You gotta like, make it about them, not about me. Yes, bro. And and, and that's where real, most real estate agents have it have it. They just have it backwards. They're just always trying to come direct, come direct, come to direct when it's like, man, the market doesn't even know you yet. Like, and that's why what I teach is I teach give away a seller guide, give away a buyer guide, get people to click and download your information first before you ever ask for an appointment. Like, let me give you this give first. Value. You're going to give Bro. them something to show them like, you know, this guy is knowing what he's doing and he's willing to help. He's willing Bro. to help. Bro. It's exactly what I'm doing with you. Exactly. I, I believe that. 100%. Look at all this shit that I'm giving you before I ever ask you to buy. I believe in that. I right? believe in that. So, so it's the same because you see the value. Once you see the value, money does not stop you. Because if yes, you believe bro. it's going to benefit you, it's going to help you. Yes. You want to proceed. That's how that, humans are. Th that's why in the future, as I start to teach you lead generation, today I'm going to just simply show you video awareness. How do we get thousands of people in our local area to watch this video? How do we run an ad? How do we set it up? That's what I'm going to show you today. But later on, as we go further, then I'm going to start, start showing you how to capture leads, how to actually get leads from it. And that's where, yes, it comes with giving. All we're going to do is put out video educating people on what it takes to sell. Let me educate you. Let me teach you some shit on what it takes to sell first before I ever ask you for anything else. Let me give you some sure. tips before you hire an agent. Let me give you tips on renovating. Let me give you tips on staging your property. Let me give you all this shit. Let me give you my PDF. Let me get you to download my seller guide first before I ever ask you to schedule an appointment. Right? So it's give, give, Perfect. give, give. That's what Gary Vee back in the days would teach. You got to give the market. Give, 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 give before you ever ask for something in return.
then they get used to you and they get to rely on you and that's how you earn your business. That's it, bro. That's it. 100%. Okay. So okay. so so the video is ready now. Okay, so how about the text? How about the text? Do we need to update the text at all? Uh, there is no uh, script in that thing. Perfect. Perfect. So that so so reach out to me. Yeah, that that's fine, bro to tell you the truth. What you have right there is 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 is, is good. If you want to grab everything from the old post, you could paste it over here if you want to. For okay. Sure. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can do that. Um, yeah. this is fine. Are you going to get the exact uh, from there? No, whatever you want. This is fine. This is fine. this is fine. Let's go with it. Okay. 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 Perfect. Perfect. Bro. Okay. So, so, so it's on the business page. That's 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 first and foremost. That's the most important. Is posting it on the business page first. Okay, and then making Perfect. sure all the text is is written out perfect. Because as we go and set it up, then then yeah, we can no longer change the text. So here's what we're gonna okay. do. Now let's log out of your business admin. Now we can go back to the personal profile to the personal uh 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 admin site so from here here's what we're going to do first we got to set up the business manager we got to set up the business manager first um before we do anything else so now go to your news feed so all you're gonna do is go, go to the news feed okay. click on home and, and go to your actual news feed where you see everyone yeah so right here on the left hand side okay so as we go to the news feed on the left hand side you're going to see You'll see you'll see ads manager or you'll or you'll see see more. Yeah, so see more. Click on see more right there on the left hand side. See more. And then you're gonna come down to your ads manager. And see, so here's what most rookies do as well. Most real estate agents that don't really know exactly what they're doing back here just yet, they'll simply come over here, click on ads manager, and they just run the ad from there. When it comes to the ads manager, you have two accounts. And 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 this is by default, all of our systems are the same, all of our accounts are the same. We have two accounts back here. Number mm -hmm. one, you have a personal account, which is what everyone has. We all have, and that's what you probably ran. So any ad that you ran in the past, all these ads right here, I'm willing to bet they're from your personal account. And I'm going to show you the difference. So after okay. this loads, so put no thanks. That's fine. So so click on that drop down in the top. Yeah, X out of the blue. Yeah, you can X out that one. So the 543, that drop down, click on that. This one? So, yes. So here it's going to show different accounts. So oh. the bottom one is your personal account. I see. That's where every rookie, every real estate agent that I speak to that claims they know how to run a Facebook ad, they'll run it from their personal account, which is the bottom one. Now they're I running see. it from the they're running the ad on the business page. Yes, the videos on the business page. Yes, for sure. But the way you're running the the ad, it's running from your personal account. The difference between the business profile versus your account. The one that you see here, the two, the JD sells TN and then the JD. The difference is, is that when you run it from your account, you you don't have access to any of the tracking. Mm -hmm. So all these ads that you you spent money on, $8 a day, $7 a day, $10 a day, all these ads that you spent money on, you ran it from your account, from your personal account. And the the, the downfall, the disadvantage is that you're not able to track any of it. I so see, the videos see. that people watched, you you can't track it. If you were sending people to a website, you can't track it. That's from your personal account. You you don't get access to any of the tracking. That's why we have to set it up correctly. We have to start running ads in the future correctly from the business account, which is the top one. So from this day forward, and as I again, as I take you more into 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 coaching. We're going to set up the whole business account in a certain way where it's so simple for you. I have I have my clients bookmark every page in the business account so it's so easy to get to. But we'll do all that later. But 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 it's going to be it's going to be the personal account or the business account that we that we that we access and work out of from this point on. It's no longer the bottom account. Okay? Perfect. So so get out of here, get out of here and just click the three lines to the left. Those three lines to the very very left the, to the side right to the left down all tools. We want to go to all tools. And we want to go to business settings. So right at the top, business settings. And this is going to take us to the to the business settings where, yeah, okay, so so you got the two factors. So go ahead and log in. So now we're in. Now we're in the business account, okay? And this is where all the magic happens. And And again, really, the magic in the business account that you cannot do in the personal account is, is, is again, tracking those who watch the video, tracking those who land on your website, Having access to the pixel, which is simply a piece of code that we all have on our website. That's why whether as I as I was saying to you earlier, when you when you're online and then you see an ad from that company, 
I gave you two ways that we do it. We either do it from you being on a website or you watching a video. That's when you see another ad from that company. The reason why they're able to track you because you were on a website. Let's just say you're on a website looking at gym equipment. You're on a website looking at, at, at men's t-shirts. You're on a website looking at hats. You're on a website looking at headphones. And then all of a sudden you see an ad from that company. It's because they have a pixel code, which is just a bunch of letters and numbers that you copy and paste and you put on your website. So, Sweet. So... You don't have access to any of that from the personal account. But now that we're going to set up the business account, you're going to have all that. So, so moving forward, we're going to be able to track everything that's, that's happening with your, with your videos um, and with, with the website that we set up later. So here's what we want to do here. Here, we want to click on ad account. You got to make sure that the ad account, there has to be some form of payment. So yeah, that's where you'll tie your card if there's not one already. So, so no ad accounts found. So what we want to do uh -huh. is we want to click on add. And all you're going to do is just add a card here. So you could create, yeah, let's, let's create a new ad account. And here's what we do too. When it comes to everything that today, we're going to just set the ad account and, and, and your custom audiences. But as we're setting up everything, we want everything to be named the same. So for example, in this case, by whether you, you knew what you were doing or not, and, and that, and, 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 and it's, and it's totally okay. But, but what you ended up doing was naming your business account, JD sells TN. Okay. So if that's the case, we want to name everything that. We're going to name our ad account that. We're going to name our Facebook pixel that. JD sells TN. Perfect. And then time zone. Yeah, go ahead and pick your time zone. And then you can well, click I don't, on. I don't even what's time zone. <laughs> you're, you're, you should be central time. Central time. So CT, if you see it. And and really, this doesn't even matter. This just the only time this oh, the only the only reason why this this would matter is is the time it's, that your ads go live or the the time your ads end, but it doesn't even matter really. <clears throat> Let's see, CMT. I want to see is a GMT, but let's just put whatever. It doesn't matter. See if you could search it right at the top. Just search. Um, CST. Oh, from here. Yes. So see if you could type in CST. Oh, CST six C D T. What? Type in your state. See if see if your state pulls. Okay, so that doesn't pull. That's fine. Just just go with the um. You can go. I mean, you can go with Pacific. P Pacific. Um, yeah. Keep going mm -hmm. down. Keep going down. <clears throat> yeah, everything. Every time zone is here, but the problem is that there's so many. It's like shit, man. <laughs> Does it have to match what time is it right now in my no, place? No, not at all. Again, this only matter. This only depends. I mean, this only uh, matters when your ads go live. So if we want our ads, so it's just to go for live, the timing. Yeah, that's all let's it see, is. It doesn't see. even. Let's see if there is anything close to us. Oh, that's Europe there. Okay. You know what? Just, we'll, just we'll go do... back for this. We'll do Chicago. It's the same. Yeah, time. yeah, yeah. Perfect. That's yeah. I saw that. Yeah, right there. America, Chicago. Okay, perfect. Boom. So click on that and then click on next. Usage. Okay, my business. Perfect. My yep. Business. Next. Next. And, and then there's the, the um, yeah, perfect. So there's that. Agreement. And then I agree. Create ad account. Okay, perfect. And then payment info. So before you even put in any pay any payment, putting the business info um, is important. You don't need tax info because it also asks for a tax ID number. You don't need that. Just just as long as we have the correct address and and the business name, you could just you can, you can even it doesn't have to be a corporation. It does not have to be an LLC. It could be JD Sales TN. That's totally fine. Um, and and that's that's all you really need. So the ad account is what we wanted to set up for sure. And again, as we go further in coaching, there's a whole setup here that that we're gonna do. There's there's seven there's seven buttons. So as you come into your business manager, your ad manager, whatever you want to call it, your ad account, there's only seven things. As you come back here, bro, anyone would come back here and be overwhelmed with all this shit that's back here. There's so much crap back here, dude. It's not even funny, right? There's so many things you can click on. You're like, dude, what the hell is all this crap? At the end of the day, there's only seven things you'll ever click on. Ad account is one of them. So there's six other buttons that, that you'll ever click on. And, and as we go further in coaching, all I do is I have you bookmark all of those seven. So you'll be able Perfect. to get to it quick. 
right? So, Easy so, access. so in this case, we're, we're going to just do the ad account that needed to be set up. Um, and then also to the, to the bottom left below data sources, keep going to the bottom left, what's really important also. Yeah. Keep going down. Oh, actually, you know what? Make sure the Instagram account is set up. So make sure that one, click on Instagram account, make sure it's tied to your, your IG, um, Login needed. Yeah, so go ahead and log in. Let's connect here. Because every ad that you run on, on Facebook is also ran on Instagram. So you're going to be seen on both platforms. Okay, okay, so log in. Yeah, so log in. That's another thing that's super important about all these social media platforms. It's very important to know, to at least remember what email you have on file, which I always recommend having the same damn email. Oh, for yes. Everything, that's, right? That's what I do. You can always uh -huh. have the same email. I mean, always know the email, but 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 most forget their password. Mm -hmm. So so if we if we forget our password, now's the time to really get all the passwords in order, right? You want to you want to make sure you make note of all that of all the passwords. The way okay, so now here, assign people. So what you want to do? So scroll down, scroll down a little bit further in the middle. Yeah, just keep go to the bottom. Yeah, little. Yeah, no people added. So go to assign people. So when it comes to the business account. The business account, yeah, assign people, and then you'll see your name. Yeah, right here. So click on the JD one. Already assigned. Oh, it's already assigned. Go ahead and click on it anyways. And then and then go ahead and scroll all the way down to the right. Yeah, down lower, and you'll see full control. Yeah, full control. Click on everything, and then assign. So when you set up a business account, which is what we're doing, it's like setting up an LLC. Mm -hmm. Like even though you own the LLC, there still has to be your name. You you still have to connect yourself to the LLC because the LLC is a separate entity. As a manager. Right? You got to set up as a manager. Same thing with here. So that's what this is kind of. So the, the, the business profile, the business account is, is similar to an LLC where we still need to tie JD to everything. And that's what you simply did right there. You simply just gave yourself full control to the entity. Okay? So we're good. We're good. We're good. We got the ad account. We got connection to the Instagram account. So anytime we run an ad on Facebook, it's going to also run on Instagram. That was very important, right? And then to the very, very bottom left, keep going down lower. Below data sources, we want to go lower, lower, lower. And we want to go to business info. This is super important. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, they must have moved it. Um, it would say, yeah, it used to say, it used to say billing info, but I get, I guess it's not there. Billing and payments? No, it's not that one. It was always it was always business info, but I guess I guess it's not there anymore. Maybe that's what we did on the ad account site where you had your address, you put your address. Click on an ad account settings. <clears throat> Actually, no, click on business manager. Let's let's see under business. Let's see if, if they put it. Yeah, see classic. See, so so this must be an updated version. Then that's the thing about Facebook. They're always changing the 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 um the um the look, but but there's another word that I'm looking for. They they're always changing the um not the aesthetics of it, but they're always changing like the layout. They're always changing like the template. This is the classic view, and that's what you just did. So I yeah, I guess they're I guess they're updating it to that. Should I try view. the new setting? No, let's stay here. We'll try. We'll okay. stay here. We'll okay. stay here. Okay. Let's stay here to get everything connected, and then you can always go to to the new view later. But um. Oh, okay. Okay. But but, oh, what's that damn word I'm looking for? But I'll, I'll think of it later. So now, bottom left, bottom left. You're gonna go all the way down, bottom left, and this was super super important. Without this, the ad will get rejected, or they'll just flag it and just say to update the info. So yeah, very very bottom left. Go all the way down. Business info. This is very very important. Nine out of ten times, none of this information is here. Oh, and just like you, <laughs> it's not. So, this is super important. Go back, business info. Actually, let, let's let's click on business info again. Yeah, uh, go. Yeah, just click go on back. business info again. We're gonna start at the top, business info. And so here again, what we're doing is we're setting up an entity. So we need to tell the system. We need to tell Facebook. Okay. From this new entity, JD Sells TN, this new business account, what is the main business page? And the main primary business page is going to be yours. So type in your business page there. This is super important. Without this, the ad wouldn't have not gone live. So click on save. And then okay. what we want to do here is all the business info, the legal name. Right. Yeah. And and here, okay. you don't need, again, you don't need a company name. You're unable to edit because you know, for editing... 
Okay, so refresh this page. Let's see what this is all about. Mm -hmm. What's okay. super, super important, and again, this is, okay, so two-factor, yeah, so cl click that no one. That needs to be everyone. Yeah, so put on, put on everyone, okay? And then um, is there a save or anything, or does it save automatically? I think it saves so automatically. Just, review okay. people's it's... access. Go ahead and click on that one, review people's access. But what's, what, what I think could be holding us back from that is is the fact that the email was never verified, which I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to double check for you right now. Um, okay, so people, okay, active. Yeah, you should be good on this part. So let's go back. Let's, we're now, yeah, go back to business. Click on business manager. And we, let's go back to the classic view. So um, go to business manager settings. Yep, click on that one. And then go back bottom left and click on business info. So this could be one reason here. And again, nine out of 10 times, this part is missing as well, which is the most important, one of the most important business info. And then just scroll to the very, very bottom and it's the email. So scroll to the very, very bottom. Okay, so yeah, that video. So this is the email that's on file right here. You can always change that, but but that's the email that's on file. Okay. So so the, the, the security two-factor is set up. Go ahead and go back up to the business info, see if you can if you can edit that. And it shouldn't stop us, but this business details. I just haven't seen it. Yeah, I just haven't seen it where you cannot edit. Yeah, it's still the same. But but that that's fine. As long as as long as the, the primary page is there, that's that that's kind of the most important back here. Is the primary page click on business info again on the left. Business info. Okay. As long as that primary page is updated, and as long as the email at the very, very bottom is is verified, which it is. Which it is perfect because it would perfect. say they're not verified. So so you're good. So you're good. So so that was like a mini a mini crash course on the business manager is at least getting the ad account set up tied to a credit card, and then and then updating the primary page. Awesome. That was awesome. that was that was kind of the most important. Okay, so now we can go into it, bro. Now we can go into the setup of that actual ad. Okay, so now top the top three lines. Those top three lines at the top. Click on that one. And now we're going to come to ads manager. So ads manager. And as you come here, and this is this is this is bookmark number two. You don't have to worry about bookmarks yet, because hopefully next time we run an ad together, I'm going to take you through the seven bookmarks and I'll have you I'll have you save everything. But but this is this is another bookmark. Is your ad okay? So right here, put put no, put no, click on no at the top left. So so one bookmark of seven is your ad account. Another bookmark, bookmark number two of seven is your ads manager. So right here, you clearly see there's no ads below. This is a brand new account. Now you can always see your other ads. So click on the drop down at the top, JD Sales TN. Your other ads are always going to still be there. They're just in the other account. So click on that one. So if you click on, on your account, click to the right, your, your, your account. And this will always take you. Yeah, just check the circle down, 543. Yeah, click on that one. This would always take you to your other account where all those old ads are at, right? But you're never going to run ads out of this account again, okay? out, of, out, of, out of your personal account. But just for a future, you can always come back here and, and you still have access to all these old accounts, okay? And then what I always do too, bro, just, just to get in the good habit of it is I always shade the blue to gray. Yeah, I always shade it to gray. Because when you have blue, you want to make sure that those ads are active, right? And And so... That top one is that top one active or what? Yes, yes. Turn I just off. run it. Uh, I think uh, yesterday. Let's turn it off. Turn it off. Yeah, turn it okay. off. Okay. Because because you're blowing money on that one, and the only reason why you're blowing money on it, the only reason, bro, is because I the personal, know... not the business. Yes, because you're not able to yes. track anything. You're not tracking any any of the activity that's going on. Now you can look at the analytics. You can look at how many people clicked. You can look at how much was spent. You can look at this dashboard and see the reach. But what I'm talking about as far as tracking, I can't set up my custom audience. So so, so if that is a video, I can't put all those people that watched it in an audience. I that's see. the custom audience. You can only do that through the business account. And that's what we're going to do. So go back to the top one. Let's click on JD Sells TN. And so step one, I always tell people when it comes to a Facebook video ad, which is what we're doing today, when it comes to a Facebook video ad... There's three steps, three, 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 um, um, it's a three-step process. Number one, we did that. Number one, can you still hear me? So 
So when it, when it comes to a Facebook video ad, I always I always teach three steps, which which we did we did step one. Step one is posting the video on the business page first and making sure we write out the text correctly. That's step one. Okay. Step two is to now set up the ad. And then step three would be to would be to set up the custom audience, which is the tracking of those who actually watch it. Okay. So we're going to do step two and step three, and then we're done. Okay. So now here, as you can see at the top, JD sells TN, the 19989. We're running out of the new account. From this point on, everything runs out of this account. So all we're going to do is click on the green button. So just like you set up the other ones, same thing with this one, but I'm going to just kind of walk you through little details that you might have missed. So when you when you click on that green button, you have these objectives. These are very, very important, bro. Very, very important. Very important. Facebook ads is very specific. Mm -hmm. It's very, very, very specific. It's like, okay, what do you want? What is your main objective, right? What is the main objective of this damn ad? That's what Facebook's, Facebook's asking when it comes to the objective. What is the main objective? You'll have, I'll have some clients that say, well, David, I want, I want thousands of views on this video. I want, I want this whole city to see the damn video. That's going to be awareness. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do awareness. And the main reason we do awareness first is so we could track those who watch it and then later on show them a lead ad. Right. Right. So that's why I always say run an intro video first. Let's get thousands of people to watch you introduce yourself first. And then as we run number two, ad number two, video ad number two, then we can run leads and retarget everyone who watched awareness. Perfect. Right. So so True. so in this case today, we're going to go awareness. We want to get the, the audience to see who we are first. Awareness. Hit continue. Actually, you know what? This Go 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 back real quick. Click on the top new awareness campaign right in the top left. Go back to that part real quick. Yeah, click on that one. Because there was that to the left. Just click on the, the name, new awareness. Yeah, click on that one. There was that little yellow notification. Or where did you, what this, uh... where did it go? X out to the left. Let's just X out to the, yeah, X out that one. Close. And let's do it again. Delete this. So hit the trash can. Hit that trash can in the middle. Let's let's do it again because we missed that yellow part, and I think that was important. Hit the delete. Okay, yeah, so, so hit the green again. So right when you click this, right here at the top, we need to confirm a few details about your account before you can publish an ad. Yeah, okay, perfect. Yeah, go to that first. And this could be the reason why. Yes, bro. So this was the reason why we couldn't edit the business info. It's because this hasn't been confirmed yet. Create Facebook page. Confirm. Yeah, go ahead and confirm that. Perfect. Perfect. We're good now. So now we actually should. Be able to, and you know what? Check your check your email real quick, bro. Did you or or do you have your phone? Have you got any email from Facebook or anything? Okay, so hit the green one. We should be good. So click create, and then we that that yellow notification should be gone, and we should be good to go. Perfect. Okay, awesome. So awareness, and then continue. So again, awareness is when you're putting out videos just to get the awareness, get the branding, to get people to, to so we could track. But even if I were to run a video on leads, let's say this video is on leads, we want to capture leads. That's when I teach again, either you're running an ad on a listing for leads, you're either running an ad on an open house for leads, or you're running an ad to give away your seller guide for leads. Even when you run a video for leads, you could still, we still track who watched it for sure. But when you're running lead ads, you're just not getting thousands of views, right? With awareness, we are. And and, and again, why why do I want to do, do the awareness first? Because it's damn near your first ad and I want to introduce myself first. I want to at least get the market, even if it's not an intro video. In this case, I still want to get the market to see who the hell I am first before I ask for their information. Right. So I'm going to run awareness first. So here, this is very, very important is the category. You're going to always, always, always go with housing. So if you click on the categories, the drop down in real estate, in mortgages, um, whether you're in any of these other categories, you got to always click, click it again. You got to always choose one of these or your ad awesome. will get rejected. Yes. You'll always go with housing in your case. And, 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 and so that's perfect. So you'll always go with housing. At the top, we want to title it. So let's give it a name. New awareness campaign. 
you could leave the word awareness. You could leave awareness, but take away new, take away campaign, and let's just name it. So what 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 can we name the video? What what's the name of the video? Freaking would you? Yeah, you could leave awareness, but let's and awareness. Is what I put in parentheses. So put a put parentheses, put the little parentheses line. Um, awareness should be just or put the quotation. Yeah, that's fine. And then put it on the other side. So awareness is what I'll put in quotations or I'll put in, in parentheses awareness, but I'll name it something. So this could be this could be. Yeah. So to the very, very left, very, very left. Move the cursor all the way to the left beginning. Yeah. All the way to the left. Or before it like yeah, this. Before it. Yes. Perfect. So what I always want to do is I always want to give my video a name. Okay. Like, like if this was an open house, I would name it 127 Open House Main Street Awareness. 123 Open House Main Street Leads, right? So whatever the video name is, what do, I, what do we want to name the video? First, yeah, perfect, whatever. First, and no one sees this part. This is all internal. This oh. is all public. First time home. Perfect, perfect. First time home buyer's video. First time home buyer's video and the objective, the objective that we chose is awareness. Sweet. Okay, that's it. So first time home buyer video, first time home buyer's video, put video, put video, perfect. And that's it, bro. So there's only three steps when running an ad. That's step one, or in this case mm -hmm. on the setup, that's step one is, is choosing the objective, choosing the category and naming it. Okay, naming it. Okay, next, that's it, next. Now we're gonna go into step two Go ahead and click on the blue one at the bottom. Next. All that stuff, you don't need to worry about none of that stuff at the bottom. So you're good. Just click on the blue next at the very bottom. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, so, so that, that's the next. And then oh, we're going to go to the, to the second step over here. This second step is where we choose the budget, where we choose the targeting, where we choose different keywords if we want to target specific keywords, which you, you're not going to need to. This is where we choose the 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 um the location, how far the, the how far we want it to reach. All that's done here on the second step, okay? So we're going to name it at the top once we do everything below, okay? So once we do everything below. So here, Facebook page, that's where it's going, to that Facebook page. Scroll down. So we're good there. That's the that's the page. And here's the thing too, bro. And, and you don't got to do this now, but this is just something to, 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 to keep in mind moving forward. Here's always my biggest, biggest recommendation when it comes to real estate agents. Mm -hmm. I would not put unless you need to unless unless it's an actual compliant law within your brokerage or within your state. But if it's not, I would not put Keller Williams as the name of my business page. I would not even use and brand my Keller Williams email. So David at KW.com, I wouldn't I wouldn't brand that. I wouldn't give that out to people. I wouldn't put it in the name of my business page. David with Keller Williams, the name of my business page. I wouldn't. Please, if I move this uh, thing, I have to change all of this. So from Bro, now, use another email. It, 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 later on in the future, I'm going to have you. Do you have, a, do you have a domain? Do you have a .com yet? Uh, no, the only .com I have is from uh, the Keller Williams. KW. Yes. Later on in the future, bro, as I take you more through this, we're going to mm -hmm. rebrand your name. We're going to rebrand all that. You need to control that domain. You need to own that domain and you need to own your email. So, so me, I wouldn't have, and I don't, because to tell you the truth, what I did not tell you in the beginning of my story is I'm actually a real estate agent. I'm actually licensed. I got my license for the state of California last year. I just don't do it. I don't, I'm not a real estate agent. You told me you're on the investment side more. The investment side, but, 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 but also full blown just coaching. Like I just, I just love coaching agents. But I got my license just for the credibility. And so, yes, as I go into investing, just for the credibility that I have, that I'm licensed. But that's the only reason why. But here's my point. I don't, so I don't practice real estate. I don't buy or sell. I'm not in, in any, I, I don't even have my license tied to anybody yet. Yes. But here's my point. Let's say I was with KW. Then, yeah, I would have David at KW.com. And that'd be, my, that'd be my email. I wouldn't do that. What I have right now is I purchased... I purchased Cantero, which is my last name, CanteroRealty.com. So if I was an agent and I was with Keller Williams, I'm only branding CanteroRealty.com. And as you click on it, then you can maybe go to my Keller Williams website. That's fine. On the email side, 
If I have David at KW.com, heck no, bro. I'm not giving that out. I'm giving David at Cantero Realty. You can email me at David at Cantero Realty.com. Email me there, right? So I believe I need to make a new email and make it sit in my name, not Keller Williams. That's what I that's what I teach in step one. Yes, bro. I teach you that in step one, which I'll teach you that later. Because the goal in a year or two, I'm gonna have my own. So definitely I need to work on it now. Rather than build all of this, then later on, oh shit, they own this email. Yes, bro. Yes. So you don't, yes. So you want to start branding your own oh, email yeah, yeah. and start branding your own domain. Perfect. We'll do Perfect. that later. We'll do that later. Okay. So, 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 yeah. So in my case, I actually have an active CanteroRoti.com. I actually have the email David at CanteroRoti.com. And so if anybody emails me, David at CanteroRoti.com, it could still forward to my, K, my KW email. That's fine. It can forward there. That's totally fine. I could check my emails the same way I always check my emails. That's fine. But the name, the branding, the domain, that's mine. You want to audit. Yes. Yes. Right? Yes. Because because chances are, bro, I won't be with KW in three years. I might be somewhere else. Yes. Yes. Right? So that's the number one mistake that I see with real estate agents. They're branding their broker's email. They're branding their broker's domain. You don't want to do that. Okay, so we'll do that later. So the only reason I brought that up because because I I because you, you clearly have it in in the business page name, and yeah, later on we're gonna we're gonna change that. Sweet. We're gonna change that. We don't want Keller Williams in the business page name. Okay, so so let's scroll down. Scroll down. Okay, now when it comes to awareness ads, video ads, you don't even need to spend a lot, bro. Like in this case, daily budget five bucks, dude. You can actually cut that in half. You can go daily budget two bucks. If I put two dollars a day towards the video that I put out on social media and I can at least target my local area with it, bro, why wouldn't I do that? Okay. okay. Right? Like, even if it's a dollar a day, bro, like... I can... Budget-wise, I'm okay with that. So, like, as much as generous you want me to be, I'm okay with that. Dude, five bucks a day, and if you ran that for, let's just say, let's just say, run it for... Run it, do, 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 do three dollars a day, do three dollars a day and run it for the next 15 days. So, from October 9th till October 23rd, that's it. 45 dollars, 45 dollars. So, here's what I teach, bro, later on, later on when it comes to lead ads. The difference is, yeah, run it for run it for 15 days. So all I'm saying, bro, all I'm saying is that here's the difference. You are gonna now have a strategy. You are now gonna gonna start, and here's here's what I really, really teach. I really teach to put out one video every 15 days. Twice a month. That's it, bro. So Perfect. compare that to the to the other guy or girl, whatever, compare that to the other agent who's putting out a video maybe every day. Maybe they're putting out a reel. Maybe they're putting out a Facebook video on Facebook. Maybe they're putting out an Instagram post and they're doing it every day, every other day. They're always putting out videos. Bro, my two videos are going to target my local area. All your videos ain't targeting no one. And you're doing that shit every day. Oh, so that, this, bro, this so that's again. so much more work. What your yeah. colleagues are doing, bro, in your industry, putting out all this damn video content. That's so much damn work, bro. That's not even necessary. And that's what most brokers are still teaching. Social media marketing, you got to post, you got to have an audience. It's like shit. 99% of these people don't even live in my area. I think that works only in one situation. If you're really a famous person in the community, yes, bro. Like you're a superstar, and you use it to advertise your real estate, yes, but to grow just as a real estate agent, you're a basic one in social media. Nobody looks at you. Bro, if you're Ryan Surhan or someone like that, bro, like, uh -huh. yes, dude, yes. Like, okay, post everywhere. The whole damn world knows you. But yeah. if I'm a local realtor, bro, no, dude. Like, I need to focus on my area. And all I'm saying is that if, if that was me, the little guy, and all I was doing was two a month, bro. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run laps around you. I'm gonna run laps around you when you're putting out video everywhere all the damn all the damn time. I'm gonna run laps around you because I'm targeting my area and I have a couple bucks going towards it. I'm gonna lap you, and I'm only doing two a month. I'm gonna lap you. So let's work more smart.
That's all it is, bro. Working smarter, not harder. Bro. You couldn't bro. have said it better. So even at this low budget, that's another point. Even at the low budget, it's still freaking well worth it. Even at a low budget. Okay, so we'll do a super low budget, and you're gonna see in the next few days, you're gonna start to see your view count start to start to increase, and you're gonna you're gonna be like, holy crap, these are all people in my backyard. Nice, right? So October 9th, okay, and here's what I always do too, bro, especially on a new account. What I always do is I'll always set it for the next day. So we're gonna go October 10th. We're gonna actually go October 10th, and I want to give face because I want to give Facebook plenty of time to approve the ad. Oh, sweet. Because what they're doing, we're choosing daily budget. So that means, because once we set the ad, it goes into a review process. And sometimes Facebook doesn't approve that ad for four or five hours. You're going to receive an email from Facebook once they do approve it. But let's say we, we set it up right now and you don't get that email until 7 p.m. You have it set at daily budget. So what Facebook is going to do is they're going to run through your budget. Let's say it's 30 bucks a day. They're going to run through that budget from 7 p.m. to midnight, and that was only five hours. I see. And your daily budget's no, gone. Part of that. So I want to start from I want to start from early morning. I want to give Facebook plenty of time to prove it. Start it early morning the next day and give me the full 24 hours of, of that of that of that next 24 hour period. So here's what you're gonna do. Yeah, change the time. Change the time. Make it like 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Yes. Got it. That's an awesome surprise. Okay, yeah, do the same with the end time. Same with the end time. Same time. 6 a.m. Yes, yeah, 6 a.m. So we're going to go 6 a.m. to 6 a.m. Perfect. So again, bro, moving forward, that, that's all I teach is, is one video every 15 days. That's it. Now, in the future, we won't be running too many more awareness. In the future, we want to run lead ads Again, to either a listing, to an open house, or to my seller guide, right? But it's still only two videos a month. And at that point, that's when you're going to want to spend a little bit more. Like once you start closing some deals and you have a little bu budget, even even if I had you spending 10 bucks a day. No worries. That's still, that's still big money. Right, bro? Big money to make money. Bro, that, what would always blow my mind. <laughs> what would always blow my mind on with real estate agents is that they're making nine, 10, 11, 12 grand per deal, but 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 no one wants to even spend 500 for the month on ads. No, I'm like, what do you mean? Need that. In, this, like, in this world with no ads, with no social media, you're not spending money, you're not making money. Bro, you couldn't have said it better. So scroll back up real quick. Scroll back up real quick. Let's make sure we got this part right. So we got the, we got the date. Perfect. So scroll down. We got that part right. All this is fine. All this is fine. And so in the future, right here, in the future... This is what it's all about is your custom audiences. Click inside the box. You don't have any just yet. You'll see it right here. So as we start to build audience, audience number one, in fact, this video right here is going to be custom audience number one, which we'll set up after this part. But as we start to set up custom audiences, that's what it's all about. This audience are people that's, that clicked on my seller guide. This audience are people who opted into my seller guide. This audience are people who landed on my website but did not opt in. This audience are people who watched my intro video 15 seconds. This audience are people that watched my open house video for 15 seconds. So it's all about creating all these audiences, all these audiences of the tracking of what's going on with either you're clicking on my stuff or you're watching my videos. And you'll start to see that drop down right there of all your audiences that we create. OK, but right now, of course, it's a new account. So there's no audiences just yet. OK, so we don't need that part just yet, but that's, that's going to be a very important step within our, our, our setup of our ads in the future. So here, location, location. Click on the edit location. We want to move United States and we want to focus in on your location. Now, when it comes to location, X out to the right, the United States, hover over the United States and just X that out first. So hit the X to the right. Yeah, right there. Yeah, clear it first. Yeah, hit the X. And then search locations. Now, there's two ways you can do this. There's two ways you can do this. Number one way is you could just type in your city. That's one way to do it. A second way to do it, to, to and, and in my opinion, it's, it's, it's a more precise way to do it is when you actually target, or, or excuse me, when you actually type in your location, your physical location, like type in the address of the office or something, or maybe type in your home address. No one sees this part. But if I can build my targeting from where I actually live or where my actual office is at, that's powerful. Okay? 
So now, now what you want to do is hit the backspace because what we're looking for is address. You always have to go with the drop down. Okay, so always go with the drop down. Hit backspace, backspace, backspace. You see how you see place right here? It's all place, place, place. We're looking for address. So so keep going back until you actually see see the, there's address at the bottom. There's address at the bottom, right? So so see if any of those were were match. You always have to go with the with the drop down. Yeah, keep typing, keep typing, keep typing until you see address. The word address. Keep typing. Keep typing. S A I. Yeah, keep type right here, right here. Is that no? That's New York. That's Michigan. Keep typing. Right here, Tennessee. Right there, right there. Address. Perfect. You always want to go with address. Okay, in this case, there's a big difference there. Okay, so address, and with housing, because we're in the category of housing, scroll up real quick. Look at the address. In the category of housing, you have to go a minimum of 15 miles. I see. But that's still powerful. Before, before you used to be able to target just one mile, two miles around, five miles. But because of the new housing laws, you have to at least go 15, okay? And you can go 45. So just imagine, and 45 might be far, right? That might be way too far. I think 15 is fine. But, but again, you know your location better than I do. I'll be honest because you see that Nashville, that's where I'm moving in the next year. That's the big, big city. It's called Nash Vegas. Murfreesboro is like four or 500,000. There is a million and a half just in Nashville. And I know a lot of connections in Murfreesboro as well. But let's start with like maybe... Let's start with the small one. Then after that, we'll move. Maybe we can make it bigger. What do you think? Is more focus is better? Or I'm, I'm, more because focus a lot of connection in Nashville. Th this this is already focused. However, to to really be detailed about it, and and to, and, and to really to really give you the best answer, whatever we choose now, is what we're gonna choose every time. So okay. you pick, you pick. It can go fifty. We can go max fifty. Max it out fifty. We'll whatever it is, we're gonna stick with it. Because I have a lot of other cities also tied to Murfreesboro, not just Nashville. So like I had, I had like Manchester, Tullahoma, Shelbyville, Lebanon, Smyrna, Franklin, and Nashville in this 50, which is exactly, this is the area I actually service. Perfect. Perfect. 50, that's our targeting. We're going to stick with that, yes. and we're going to brand the hell out of you, bro, within 50 miles of that physical location. Perfect. Okay? Powerful, bro. Powerful. Age, you cannot change because you're in the housing category. Right, yes. so you can't change the age, you cannot change the gender, the detailed targeting. A lot of times, people will try to put different keywords: target people who are related to this word, or target people who have an interest in this word. We don't, we don't need to do that because you're 50 miles. Even though it's 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 pretty far, it's really not. It's a, it's a pin drop. Like when it comes to the entire country, right? So so that's all we need. We don't need to narrow it down any further, Perfect. because that's all that does is the detailed targeting. When you start entering keywords. It just it just narrows the audience even further, which we don't really need to. We already narrowed it down enough, and that's 50 miles in this little location. Perfect. So we don't need to change any of that. So age is fine, gender is fine, detail targeting, leaving it blank, keep going down. Placement. This is where Facebook gives you the ability to place the ad on different parts of the platform. When you look at Facebook, there's many different parts of the platform. I can have the ad on the right side. I can have the ad in the news feed. I can have the ad on different websites. There's so many different placements, but I don't want to confuse you with that, nor do we nor do we even need to change the placement. So we're going to leave the placement the way it is. So scroll back up. We're going to always leave it on advantage right there. Scroll down to the placement. We're going to always leave it on advantage placement. Okay, so keep it that way. We're going to leave it there, advantage placement, okay? So now, now, yeah, we'll just leave it as is. Now we have a few things to name at the top. So now let's scroll to the top and let's let's briefly describe. That's going to be the name at the top. Here, all we're going to do is briefly describe what we did below. So let's start with the budget. We're at two fifty a day. So $2.50, no, $2.50, or that three. Okay? three. I'm going to hit it hard. Can we do it? Or what? Can we do it five? Oh, yeah, bro. Heck yeah. Change it to five. Five dollars. Yeah. Five dollars. Five dollars a day. Five a day. Perfect. Dash, 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 address, maybe 450 and maybe just put the just one dash. I'm sorry. Yeah, just one dash. So five dollars a day dash 450 the address. You don't have to put the whole address, but maybe just 450 the street name Saint. Yeah, perfect. 
50 miles, 50 miles, dash, dash, um, advantage placement. So the reason why titling it is so important is so when I'm on the dashboard and I'm looking at these blue dots, I can know exactly where that ad is going. I don't have to click on it. I don't have to come into it. I don't have to look below. I don't have to worry about any of that stuff. I could just look at the damn title and know what's going on with that ad. I'm spending five bucks a day. I'm targeting 450 St. Andrews, 50 miles. I got an advantage placement. I can just look at the damn title on the dashboard and know and know that ad. Okay. So that's why titling it, titling it is so important. Okay, and that's it, bro. That's it. So that was step two of the ad setup is we did the budget. We did the audience. We did the placement. Um, we did the calendar. We did the calendar, right? It's going out a certain date tomorrow and, and ending on a certain date. And that's it. So now we hit the blue button at the bottom and, and, and we're almost done. So select Instagram account. Select Instagram account. Um, yeah, okay, perfect. So that's that. Okay, so now we're on the third and final step of the ad setup. Um, actually, of this ad part, and then we have the custom audience after this, and then, we're, and then we'll be good. So at the very, very top, let's just simply name it the title, very, very, very top. Scroll up to the top. This title, you could just simply name it exactly what we named the first one. First time home buyer video. You don't have to put awareness, just first time home buyer video. So just like you named the, the first step, First time home buyer video, that's it. And then we're going to scroll down. We got Facebook page. We got Instagram account. We're good there. Partnership ad. We don't need to worry about that. Right here, ad setup. Right here, ad setup. You're going to hit the drop down and you're going to go use existing post. And all we're going to do is pull that post. Select post right at the bottom. Select post. And then you'll see that recent post. And then it's right there. Perfect. So click on that one. Hit continue. And we're good, bro. So here we're gonna just simply so all the text, everything is there. We don't have to need, we don't have to write anything, everything's done. Okay. And then we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna just simply add a send message button just for the hell of it, just to fill the, the, the real estate, just to fill the space. But scroll down, yeah, it should be lower. So primary text, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, keep going. Call to action right here. So send what's up message. Let's change that. So change, hit change on the call to action button. Yeah, change. And then just go to, just go to, yeah, hit the drop down. Just go to simply send message. There should just be a send message. Yeah, at the top, send message. And and, and this is not a, a, an ad where people are going to actually send you a message, but to have something there, that's fine. Update post. Yeah, just hit the blue update post and, and, you're, and you're good. Okay, perfect. So now scroll down. Okay, so here we go. Scroll down, and then now all we're gonna do is hit the green publish. We're good. So we don't we don't need to track. Not that we don't need to track. We're gonna set up the tracking after this. But here we don't need to mess with any of that. So hit the green publish, and 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 you're good. So the publishing one of three at the bottom, the blue, you're looking for that to go green. Okay, so that needs to go green. Perfect. You're good. If that goes red, it'll tell you what happened. It'll tell you, hey, you need to change this. Problem. You need to change that. That's when there's an error on the ad when that turns red at the bottom. But it's green, so you're good. Three steps. Step one, post the video on the business page first. Write everything out. Step two, publish the ad. Third and final step is to create the audience of those who watch the video. And then we're done. So X on the top left. So just hit this X. And now we're going to hit the three lines to the left. And, and this is our final step, bro. And then we're and then we're done. So three lines to the left. All to, actually right here. It's right here. So audiences to the left. Audiences. This right here, bro. This is the missing piece with one hundred percent of realtors, bro. So when people are putting out videos on social media, in this case specifically Facebook and Instagram, none of these bozos are tracking who's watching it because mm. they never set up a custom audience. A custom audience is simply those that are watching it. And why is that important? Because I need all those people in a bucket so I can turn around and show them my next ad. Wait, so hit this one? Hit that one. Yes, sir. Great custom audience. And these are different different um, sources on where you can create audiences around. In your business, all you'll ever need and all I ever will teach you is to create custom audiences of those who land on your website and those that watch your video. So in this case, we're going to simply just do video. So click on video, 
hit next. And then the engagement. Choose engagement. We're going to hit that drop down. These are all the different timestamps. So I can create an audience of everyone who watches at least three seconds of my video. I can create an audience of everyone who watches 10, 15, 25% of my video. So we start with the three seconds and with the days we start getting more custom. Or... Good, good, good question. In this case, in this case, that's why in the future, I'm never going to have you do another 11 second video again. That's too damn short, bro. Like that's way too short. Like you want that video to be at least a minute long so I can track those who watch it for at least 15 seconds. Three seconds ain't enough time. Even 10 seconds, not really. If I can have someone and if I can put people in this bucket of those who watched at least 15 seconds of my shit, bro, that's going to be a, a very powerful audience because 15 seconds is, is technically a long time. Like I sit here and I watch something for 15 seconds. That's a good amount of time. Right. But in this case, yours isn't that long, but, but we're going to still at least do 10 seconds. Yeah. So if you watch 10 seconds of my 11 second video, you're in this audience. So hit select videos on the top, right? Select videos, select video. And then you're going to see that video. So you're going to check the box to the left. That's the one right there. October 9th, check that box, scroll down, hit the blue, hit the blue button. 365. Facebook's going to keep these people that watch it for at least 10 seconds in this audience for a whole freaking year. Right? Yeah. So for 365 days, if you watch 10 seconds of my video, bro, you're in this audience. You're going to see my ads. Right? And that's why people sometimes get mad. Dude, why do I keep seeing this shit? Why do I keep seeing these ads from this damn person? It's like, it's like, bro, you watched his shit. Don't get mad. You're the one that clicked on the damn ad. That's why you're seeing it. Don't be on that damn website if you don't want to see the stuff, right? Yeah. It's, it's like, dude, it's like we're we're attracting what we're what we're clicking on, right? So so in this case, three sixty five audience name. Audience name is going to be what we named the ad. What did we name it? We named it first time. What did you name it? First time buyer video or something like that. First time home buyer video. Yep. Yeah, and then in parentheses, ten seconds. Okay, or or quotations. 10 seconds, right? So I'm naming it what I named the video so I can know exactly what ad that was. And then I'm and then I'm putting 10 seconds, create audience. And that's it, bro. That's it. Number one, post on the business page. Number two, publish the ad. Number three, create your custom audience. And so here, right here, bro, you're going to just start to see a list as we move forward. We're going to have a list, a huge list of all these damn videos that we're tracking. Nice. And then as we start running ads and we're on ad number nine, we're going to have eight audiences that we're retargeting. So, bro, you're going to build a huge brand. You're going to build a huge local brand, right? You're going to start these people down the street up to 50 miles. They're going to start to know who the hell you are, which is powerful. Now, what we did not do is hit the three lines to the left. Go back to the ads manager real quick. We didn't update the budget. You named it, but we didn't update it. Hit the three lines to the left. Go back to ads manager. All tools. Yeah, all tools. And then ads manager. Let's just update that last part and then we're done, bro. So we'll just, because I think you had it at $3 a day. Yeah, bro, at five bucks a day, you're going to see this thing crank. Watch, this thing's going to crush it, bro. Even at just five bucks a day. That's why, again, it blows my mind. At such a low budget, I could target my backyard and 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 it's it's worth it's worth every penny. So, so here you'll see scheduled. Check the box on the left. You'll see scheduled. That means Facebook already approved step one. And what was step one? Your objective and the housing category. They approve that. Click on the middle tab. These are your three tabs, campaigns, ad sets, and ads. So right here at the top, the tab. No, at the top, a little higher. You got the ad sets up higher in the middle to the left, to the left, right there to the left. These are your three tabs. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be referring to I'm gonna be referring to these these tabs all the time. These are the three tabs. Click on that one. Yes. So that's it. So the ad set, you're gonna see here scheduled. When you see scheduled, that's good because they approved it. What did they approve? They approved my budget. They approved my targeting. They approved my placement. They approved the calendar. That's already approved. Click on the third tab, ads. Click on that one. This is the one you're going to see processing. It's going to go processing to in review to scheduled. So what they're doing here is they're 
they're reviewing, they're processing and reviewing the video to see what you said. Maybe you said something wrong. Maybe there's something in the background that they're gonna they're they're not gonna approve. I had I have clients, well, not a lot of clients, but I had one client. I had one specific client. That's why I that's why and this was years ago, but that's when I when I realized how how important this part is. That the reviewing of this part, the processing, the review of the ad. I had a client one time where she was doing a walkthrough. It was a listing. She had an open house coming up. We were setting up an ad for an open house. And she was doing a walkthrough. Hey, guys, this is Stacy. Want to show you this property, blah, 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 listed open house this weekend. She's doing a walkthrough of the internal, of the inside of the property. And there happened to be a wet bar in the kitchen, mm. right? It was a nice property, bro. Million dollar property. Nice. A bar. And there was bottles, right? There's bottles. As she's showing the kitchen, there's bottles in the wet bar. It got denied. Wow. Re Facebook rejected the ad because there was alcohol in the video, right? So under the housing category, she couldn't promote that. She couldn't even show it in the back of the video, which was stupid to me. But that's why in this part, this this step right here would take a little longer because, yeah, they're just reviewing what was said in the video. They're reviewing if there's anything in the background of the video that's that's not you know compliant. So click on that middle tab one more time. The middle tab, and here's what we're going to do. The last step, we're going to go to edit. So right below the title, you'll click on edit, right? A little lower, little lower. So right below the title, 450 St. Andrews, edit. Click on edit. And once the ad goes live, you don't want to mess with it. Mm -hmm. So it's a good thing that we're doing this update, this change now, because once the ad goes live, we don't want to mess with it. So scroll down. Let's come down to the budget. We want to just update that budget right here, the daily. Actually, no, you do have it at five. You do have it at five. I thought it was at three. My bad. I thought, I thought you had it. Perfect. Perfect. So it's at five. Okay, you're good. So X to the left, top left. And that's it, bro. That's it. That's it. We got a little bit of the business manager set up, the ad account, the Instagram account, the business info. Um, and most importantly, the custom audience. So as you come in here, you can always, again, from, from the Facebook page, you went to your news feed from your personal profile. You went to your news feed. You clicked on ad manager on the left-hand side. It brought you back here. And now moving forward, you just want to make sure you're in that right account at the top, the drop down, the JD sells TN. You just want to make sure you're in that right account. Okay. And then you'll start to see everything from here. But when it comes to a video awareness ad, all I really do is look at the video on the business page. As long as those views are increasing, that's all I care about, right? We're spending five bucks a day, going to run it for two weeks. I'm telling you, bro, if you budgeted that and you focused on that, you could stop share now. Stop share screen. You focused on even that, that budget. You focused on just doing two videos. That green button at the bottom should say stop share. You should see some type of st stop share at the bottom. You focus on that, the budget, two videos a month. And then you narrow it in and start talking to one person. That's it, bro. You'll crush it. You'll crush it. Stop talking to everybody real estate related. No, dude, I'm talking to homeowners only. I got a seller guide. I want to get in everybody's hand. Download my seller guide. Download my seller guide. Download my seller guide. And, and, and further on, in, further down in coaching, that's when I teach you the whole back end. Like when they click on the ad and they go to a web page to enter their name and email, what happens after that? That's called a sales funnel. That's the back end of, of capturing leads. And that's, that's what I'll teach you later on. But I wanted to at least show you today how to, how, to, how, to get a, how to properly set up a Facebook video ad through the business manager, through your new business account, and how to do it the right way, bro. So hopefully that made sense. Well, thank you so much. That was very helpful. <laughs> yeah, bro. I'll send you the recording because I know that was a lot. So I'll send you this recording, bro. And let's just stay in touch, man. Let that ad run. Let that ad run. And I'm going to share it on my page too. We'll share it. But, but at the same time, even if I share it, I got 5,000 friends over here. There are people that live all across the country. That doesn't do anything anyways, right? So, so the hell with even sharing it. Let the budget, leverage the budget and let the targeting do its thing. No, I have a small question about this ad. So today, just naturally is going to start adding likes to the page just from doing this? Not the likes. No, 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 no. Oh. Good good question. No, that's, you know what? Let's do that call. What's today? Today's today's Wednesday? Yeah, today's mm -hmm. Wednesday. Thursday, Friday. Anytime next week, same time, let me know next week and we'll do a like ad. With the like ad, you can literally have a total budget of 50 bucks. I can add as much. It's not a problem. Bro, we'll run that like ad that's a one-time ad. So one, all we got to do is run that ad one, one time. It's not a monthly ad. It's not something that I encourage you. You can run it anytime you want, but 
One time is all we need. Just to take your likes up a couple thousand and that's it. Every real estate agent has a couple hundred. If I go to your business page and I see a couple thousand, watch. Let me share my screen real quick. We talked about this. I remember. I remember let me, we, we let took me, a couple of looks. Let me show you something really quick. Um, let me go to Facebook. Let me share my screen. Watch this real quick and then we'll end it here, bro. Every single real estate agent has a couple hundred likes, right? All you need is a couple thousand. That's really it. Um, and that's what I did over here. So here is my actual real estate business page. So you come to my, my business page and you see a couple thousand likes. The only importance of the like count is so when someone lands here, right away, credibility. Yep. Oh, when yeah. I land on every real estate agent page, bro, and they have 110 likes, or when I land there and they have 47 likes. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> bro, that's every real estate agent. Yeah. And how do I know that? How do I know that? It's because all of my friends are real estate agents. And look, every single Crystal invited you. Alexis invited you. Janelle invited you. Miranda, every single real estate agent, that's all they do is click invite to get their 3,000 Facebook friends to like the page. And at the end of the day, it's only about 100 of them that like it. Well, yeah. And these are 100 people. They're all over the country. So it's like, shit, that was a waste of time. So when it comes to the likes, you don't need tens of thousands. Like right here, I have a couple thousand. That's all I need when it when in the real estate space because everyone has a couple hundred. Now I come here, you have a couple, th I have a couple thousand. Now I just have credibility. People think that I'm really crushing it when all I, all I did there was spend 50 bucks and got a couple thousand likes quick with a Facebook ad. Okay. So that's a Facebook like ad. We'll do that next week. Today, I wanted to show you a Facebook video ad and, and, and that's what we did today. Thank you so much, brother. Okay, that my was, brother. That was great. I don't know if you have like just two, three minutes to talk about the other side of business because I feel like you start postponing, but I am more than ready, as I said. So, like, let's say, like, next week we're going to do that like ad. But by October the 30th, I have two nice, nice closings, which is I already talked to myself. I need the social media. So I already set a budget in the side. I was like, this is going to be to learn and educate myself about those social media ads. Let's so, do it, brother. Max, by the end of this month, we are enrolled. What am I expecting exactly? How many times, uh, like in a month, like four times in a month or once in a week or our, our training sessions? Yeah. So I can like just, you know, keep it in my head so I can schedule for next month. Bro, we can go, we can go twice. A, we could go twice a week for one hour, right? Let's say Tuesdays, Thursdays, we That's schedule easy. a one hour Zoom and I can have you going through my entire five step program in, in a good, in a good, in a good four or five weeks oh, where bro, I'm going to take you through easy, everything. Easy, easy. But so you have me, you have, after I have a coaching client, bro, I have clients that still freaking train with me years later. So it's not like there's no monthly. It's always a one time. And I, and, and the reason why I even do this, bro, look, I jumped on you right, right here just to give you value because what I, and that's why I extend my coaching calls out to people because it's like, dude, I get content out of it as well. So yes, I like to say that I'm a nice guy and I'll hook mm -hmm. you up and all this, but, but we, we are both helping each other. Because I'm able that. to use the video that. and put it out there. I'm going to have this on Facebook here in a few minutes. I'm going to have this video on YouTube in a few minutes, right? So Great. I'm able to leverage the content. Great. That's why it's like, dude, my coaching program, it's not like where it only comes with 10 calls and that's it. No, dude, like we're going to talk for years, bro. You're going to be my boy. Dude, this is your little nephew. Say what's up to Uncle JD. This is your uncle right here. Hello, buddy. Say what's up, uncle. Hello. Bro, so we're in it, dude. Like I'm going to coach you on all this stuff and we're going to just help each other and leverage the content and really build a big business together. Much respect and love, brother. Okay, brother. So so let that bad boy run. You're going to see it at, at hundreds of views. At that budget, you'll see it at a few thousand views in the next few days. And that's just the beginning. I want to really show you the lead the lead side and, and focus in on, on sellers and, and, and start crushing that. Yes, sir. Yes, so, sir. so I'm ready when you are, man. Perfect. Thank you so right. much. Have a good one. I'll send you the recording soon. See you.